Good evening to all. In the cosmic ray showers in the point A discuss here. A group of cosmic ray particles produced by some common cause is known as cosmic ray showers. One common cause karanam, and in the common reason karanam produce a group of cosmic ray particles in the anam in the cosmic ray showers. Baba and Hater explain about cosmic ray showers. According to them, a high energy positron or electron present in cosmic rays loses energy when it interacts with the nuclei of atmospheric gas. That is, cosmic rays are high energy positrons and electrons. That is, positrons and electrons are atmospheric gases in the nuclei. That is, the high energy particle energy loss. The energy lost appears as high energy photons. This loss is the energy high energy photons. This process is radioactive collision. This process is known as radioactive collision. When this photon interacts with the nucleus of atom by Coulomb forces, the photon is completely absorbed by that nucleus and an electron-positron pair is produced. This process is known as pair production. That means gamma gives an electron plus a positron. That is why we have a photon that we have to interact with the nucleus of the atom. That nucleus is what we have to do. This one photon is complete and absorbed. That photon is absorbed. One electron-positron pair is produced. This one process is called pair production. The minimum energy of the photon for pair production is 1.022 mega electron volt. One pair production is a photon energy, that is minimum photon energy, 1.022 mega electron volt. The produced electron and positron have sufficient energy to produce more photons on interaction with other nuclei. If we produce the electron-positron prayer, we interact with the nuclei of the atom. More photons produce. That is why we have sufficient energy to produce the electron-positron prayer. These photons are further capable for prayer production. If we produce the electron-positron prayer production, we are capable of it. Let's continue this process. This process results in the generation of large number of photons, electrons and positrons having a common origin. This process is a large number of electrons. Photon positron generation is because this is the most important common origin. This theory is known as Cascade Theory of Cosmic Ray Showers. This is the theory of Cascade Theory of Cosmic Ray Showers. The schematic diagram is given below. This is the Cosmic Ray Showers schematic diagram on the next page. Here you can see the electron diagram. इलेक्ट्रॉन है अलग ले पोसिट्रॉन है नमला न्यूक्लियस माइट इंटरैक्ट चाहिए मम अब ये इंदर डाउन एक रू फोटॉन्स ले फोटॉन्स प्रोड्यूस आउ ये फोटॉन्स वींड आते थे ने न्यूक्लियस माइट इंटरैक्ट चाहिए इन समय तब ये इंदर डाउन इलेक्ट्रॉन हम पोसिट्रॉन हम डाउन ये इंडाइटेड � ये प्रोड्यूस ये द फोटॉन्स वींडम ओरे न्यूक्लियस में आईटी इंटरेक्ट चीम अवधि इन्द्र डाउन इलेक्ट्रॉन है पोसिट्रॉन इन्द्र डाउन अंगने ये ओरे प्रोसेस है कंटिन्यू चेदित पोगो अल्ले दिस मल्टिप्लिकेशन कंटिन्यूस अंटिल द इनिशियल एनर्जी बिकम लेस देन द क्रिटिकल वैल्यू इधर नम्रा इनिशियल एनर्जी और क्रिटिकल वैल्यू ने काटूँ तारे इतना वरे ये और एक प्रोसेस इन्द चीयूँ कंटिन्यू चेदर नार्डनों ओं डीरी की मैंने ना पढ़ें इधर सो कॉस्मिक रे शावर्स इन्वॉल्व्स टू प्रोसेस नेमली रेडिएटिव कोलिशन एंड पेयर प्रोडक्शन नम्रा कॉस्मिक रे शावर्स इले मेन ऐडे � when a positron combines with an electron, that produces two quanta of gamma rays. The one positron E plus, our electron E minus, combine with the two quanta of gamma rays produce argument. This is a process of inhalation of matter. We can say that E minus plus E plus gives two gamma. That's why we can say that in the cosmic ray showers.